Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I'm giving you an update on the models. Uh, it looks like the Euro is a little more to the west, but the GFS is starting to agree with the Euro model. It is starting to show a western uh, move, and it will be three to four hours before the update will come out. Uh, I don't, we don't expect the, tra the track to change much from what it is now. Uh, for the rest of the night, uh, you will have some more storms moving up through Jacksonville as well through South Carolina. So be aware, these are severe storms. It will bring a lot of lightning uh, and actually some flooding that you could get in northern Jacksonville because it's hours of rain. But it will clear up as the storms go through Mississippi and Alabama later on and into the morning. And then you'll be looking for Laura moving in. Now, Laura is bringing in a lot of damaging winds. Now, I found wind gusts. Uh, I'll show it to you. Right now, let me show you the severe storms of it. It is following a little more on the on the EU track. The EU track is a little bit more westerly. That's where you see these twos at. You're expecting Cat 2 of 104 miles per hour by landfall with gust of 127. Now, it's, it's moving towards, uh, towards the western of Louisiana. But like I said, the track of the GFS model is, is showing that it would be a little more of an eastern push. And you'll see that when I show you the winds on the GFS model. Plus, the big bands that is coming with uh, Laura could be an issue as well. Now, just like before, it's going towards Lafayette and a little more to the east this time. Uh, it won't be going all the way to Port Arthur as it's kind of showing for the, the Euro model. The Euro model is making it a little more westerly push like it's supposed to weaken uh, a good deal. And that would, that would inhibit a western push. But I'm showing the strength is still good. It still have uh, peaks of intensification that I will show you next. And it's still growing. It's, so I've, I believe it will stay strong and it will stay a little bit more of an eastern push towards Lafayette. Like it first started when, when, when we first heard about it. This was the very beginning it showed that it was going towards Lafayette. After it showed it was going towards Tallahassee. That's why I backed up so you can see the view from this thing. And it grows almost the size of the state. Uh, Laura is very huge and it's very strong. And it's going to bring a lot of power outages, a lot of flash flooding. Uh, a lot of problems for a lot of people so so please you know give your prayers especially alexandria it's going to be moving through y'all for hours so give your prayers to people that's going through this and just be lenient because they're, they're going to be going through a lot plus it's muggy and it's hot down there you got to remember this is the south guys now what i want to do is run through the model and show you the gfs and i want to show you the damage and winds that are going to be coming from this i'm going to go ahead and loop it just the next 72 hours uh, that's all you need to see, and you'll see everything by then. Now, I'm going to let this catch up. It takes about 30 seconds, and it's something that you really need to see. As you see it coming through the Gulf, you'll see a, a couple periods of intensification, and I'll show them to you. That's where you'll see the, the green. Uh, just so you know what you're looking at now, it's already in the 80s, and it's supposed to stay that way for a while and just intensify. Now, you'll watch it when it moves through. And this is the new updated track. The next one isn't coming out till 10 or 11 o'clock later on. So it won't be another update uh, until the morning because we're not expecting this to change much. As a matter of fact, I'm expecting a Euro to come a little more easterly to agree with the GFS. Now, John, three. Now, there was a man of the Pharisees, Nicodemus, was his name, a ruler of the Jews. This one came to him in the night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you as a teacher have come from God, but no one can perform these signs that you perform unless God is with them. In answer, Jesus said to him, Most truly I say to you, unless anyone is, un is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? He cannot enter into the womb of his mother a second time and be born, can he? Jesus answered, Most truly I say to you, unless anyone is born from water and spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. For what has been born from the flesh is flesh, and what has been born from the spirit is spirit. Do not marvel, because I told you, you people must be born again. The wind blows where it wants to, and you hear the sound of it. But you do not know where it comes from and where it is going. So is, so is everyone that has been born from the spirit. In answer, Nicodemus said to him, How can these things come about? In answer, Jesus said to him, Are you a teacher of Israel, and yet you do not know these things? Most truly I say to you, What we know we speak, and what we have seen we bear witness of. 
but you people do not receive the witness we give. If I have told you earthly things and yet you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you heavenly things? God bless. Amen. That is so true. And as you see it throughout the days, you see it's true with everybody. Let me back it up just a little bit so I can show you what the intensity was as it's running through. There's a quick peek right there of the storm. And this could grow even more because this is where it had its moments of coming through. Now I'm showing 110, 111, even 112 uh, on this one right here. But it's only expected to be 98 miles an hour with wind gusts of 121. So I'm showing that that's already going to be upgraded and be wrong. Then again, it goes back down, and then it gains again right there. Then it goes down, then it gains again before landfall, then it goes down. Now the last spark before you have before landfall, which it shows once again that it's headed for Lafayette, uh, is right here at 9 p.m. on the 26th. And I'm showing 106 miles per hour on that storm. And let's make sure that that is the highest one that we see so far. It's high enough. Hundred and six point nine. That's what we're showing what before it comes in, and it's predicted to be only a hundred and four uh with 127 miles per hour, uh, gust but when it gets to this line it seems like that's about correct because when it hits everything turns to tropical storm winds or very strong hurricane winds but you don't see no more of the intensification so that still could be a factor anything could happen in the gulf we just need to stay updated every i say about six hours every six hours there's going to be new information out that way it don't clog you too much with videos and just totally wear you out because that's just a lot of negativity all at one time but at the same time you got to know what's going on now everything in the white is in the 40s the orange is the 50s and then that's the dark orange you'll get in the 60s but this is the size of from lake charles all the way to the edge of lafayette you're going to be feeling tro strong tropical force winds you're going to be getting heavy rainfall you might lose power during this happens so please be aware of what's going on and stay up to date okay when i sit there and when I used to watch streams a while back, I'd have about six tabs open just to see what's going on everywhere. You got to check everywhere. You got to keep every possibility. But I will uh, live stream these storms live for you and answer any questions that you want and run future model checks so we can stay on top of this. Uh, God bless all of you. I hope all of you get safe from this. I don't want any one of you have problems, but we all know that that's not going to happen. So please be prepared. Be prepared for power outages, the main thing. God bless you all. I'll see you in the morning.